Hey everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today in this very exciting tutorial, we will be learning about how to place video inside a photo using green screen and animating it. Let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks super awesome right? First we will start creating our green screen inside of our stock photo in Photoshop, then we will animate it in Premiere Pro. Before we begin make sure to hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials. Without any further ado let's begin. Create new document. Width is 3840. Height is 2160. Resolution 2000. Click create. We will import our stock photo. Increase its size and place it in the center. Create a new layer. Take polygon lasso tool. Start making the photo frame shape like I do. Join it. Now change the foreground color to pure green. In the color palette type in 0 CFF 0, 0. Click OK. Press Alt Backspace to apply the foreground color on the selected area. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Now we finished making the green screen on the photo. Now we can use it in Premiere Pro. Press Ctrl Shift Alt S to save the JPEG image. Now we will jump straight into Premiere Pro. Create a new project. I will name this as Photo Frame. We will import our saved green screen photo into the project panel. Again we will import our stock video like this. Drag the video to the timeline like this. Now we have our video to edit. This time we will import our photo to the timeline and place it above our video track like this. Place it little further. If I play it, now we have our photo and video on our timeline. Make sure you select the photo track. In the effects and control panel, place the time indicator at the start. Now we have to zoom in on the green screen. For that, increase the size and position of the photo like this. Zoom in until you can't see anything other than the green screen. Just like that. Now keyframe the position and scale like this. Place the time indicator at 3 second interval. Now turn the size and position back to normal. Highlight the last two keyframes and go to time interpolation. Then select ease in. If I play it. As you see, that we created that smooth zoom out effect. That looks great. Now go to the effects panel and type in ultra key. Drag the ultra key and place it on our photo track like this. 
Take the eye picker under ultra key in the effects and control panel. Select the green screen. Just like that we keyed out the green screen. What it did, is just simply removed green color on our picture completely. Which makes that specific place transparent. What we are seeing inside the frame is the video of the below track, is visible because of the transparent space. Place the time indicator at the beginning of the photo track and select the video track. Keyframe the scale and position in the effects and control panel. Take the time indicator at the end, where our photo finished animating. If you don't know where it finished, just simply select the photo track and place the time indicator at the end keyframe, like this. Press M on your keyboard to mark that location. Now go to the video and track and place the time indicator at the marked point. Decrease the size and position of the video, to fit perfectly inside the photo frame. Like this. Increase the size a little. Position it to the center. That looks good. If I play it, as you see, that our video isn't perfectly cooperating with our photo animation. That's because our video size is too small. Place the time indicator at the beginning and increase the size a lot. And position it. Let's play it, and see if it works. That looks great. Our video placed perfectly inside the photo frame. But there's a part, where our video fell out of the place at the bottom. We will take care of it later. Now we can start making that video to photo transition. Search for the perfect moment in the video to make it as photo. This part looks good. I will turn this frame into a photo. Right click on the video and select the add frame hold. What it will do is, it will freeze that frame, and making it as photo. As you see there is a cut which been made, which means that the right side of the video became a photo. We can drag it all the way. Let's play it, and see the magic. That looks great. Just like that our video turned into photo. But you can clearly see, that the transition is not the visible and it didn't impact the viewer. To make that transition look, select the photo track. In the effects panel type in curves. Drag the RGB curves to our freezed photo track like this. In the effects and control panel. Just add a little shadow, and bump up RGB colors. Increase the red. Green. And blue. That looks perfect. Now let's play it, and see the video to photo transition. Great. There we made the transition. And it gives a little dynamic view. That looks perfect. Increase the length of the video. Now place the time indicator at start keyframe of our video. Then increase the size and position it. This will get rid of the bottom black space during the animation. Let's play it, and see the finished video.
that looks super awesome. We finally at the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this and hit the like button if you like this tutorial. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.